Hello, everyone. Um, this is the November sketch box, and for those of you who are not familiar with um, these type of boxes, this is a monthly art subscription box, and it is filled usually with, um, you know, anywhere between four to six items um, of quality art supplies. And uh, deliver to your uh, your um, your house uh, or apartment or your door um, once a month. And um, I'm totally in love with this thing. <laughs> I love Sketchbox. Anyway, um, before we go into the delve into the uh, the uh, November Sketchbox, let me show you what I did before October Sketchbox. Now, any any of you who saw my previous video for the October Sketchbox know that I did not get the little Daniel Smith um, dot card that came with the box. For some reason, it just didn't get, you know, was stuck in the box. You know, they didn't put it in the box. And while I was a little bit disappointed, I thought, well, okay, there's got to be something I can do about this. Well, I went to eBay, and um, I talked my husband into getting me the 238 dot, <laughs> um, dot card. Dot card, dot sheets, I should say. They're not cards of sheets. Um, because the 66 one did not have the colors that came with, that was supposed to come with the, uh, the sketch box. And the 238 one did. Um, and I got the colors from another YouTuber who was, you know, who did the, who was doing an box, uh, unboxing. And I had she she had it so that I could get a close up of all the colors. So I wrote all the colors down, and this is the 238 sheet. There's four sheets here. Now I did swatches of all of these, but here I marked like up here. I don't know if you can see it. But up here I have one, and then I've got four, and three, and two, and that, those were the the colors that were that came on the dot card that came with the sketch box. And so what I did was I did a color squat swatch for the colors that came with the, what that was supposed to come with the uh, October sketch box. And so those are all the colors that um, came with it. And now what you might want to wonder is what did I come up with? Well, I wasn't, I'm not really happy with this, but here is my preliminary drawing. I decided to do Mermaid because the uh, watercolor ink that came with it was green, and I thought, okay, well, I'll do, you know, a, kind of a bluish green, so I thought, well, I'll do Mermaid. So this was my preliminary, but she was too high in the plane, and I thought, well, she needs to be a little lower. So, and then, of course, on this side here, because I had the, you know, the, 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 the test on the color, I just, I'm going to do some designs on here so that that will cover all that up well that make it look better so this is what I came up with I'm not exactly happy with her um, she's not perfect but I am proud of her regardless I am proud of her she's not like I said she's not perfect but I do like her um, and what I'm gonna do with this side I have no clue <laughs> I've done this to try to mix the uh, yellow ochre with the, um, let me see, the yellow ochre with the, um, oh, let me get my reading glasses on here, with the uh, raw umber violet to get the, the sand color. So um, so that was fun. That was, and you know, the Yupo paper, that does, it works real well for mixing colors. But anyway, that is what I came up with for the, um, the, uh, uh, the October box. And the, the, the paper is really nice. This, the sketchbook paper is really, really nice. It did not, you know, uh, clump up or anything when you got it all wet and everything. So it was really, really nice. But I, I do like my mermaid, but I know she could be better. Okay, so, you know, but, you know. Anyway, so that, is my, that was my, my uh, endeavor for October. Now, I've opened the box. I broke the seal, but I have not looked in the box, so... I always like to do it first, that way, you know, less time taken in, you know, doing the box. So let me see here. Let me get, try to get the cards out. Let me see. Here we are. Here's the cards. Oh, 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 oh. I forgot to show you the cover, the front of the box. There is the front of the box. 
it, or the top of the box is that that is very elaborate and very very well done. Who's that? By Jason J Jenkins. That is Jason. That is a wonderful job. Wonderful job. That is really nice. That is really really nice. He that's very impressive. Very impressive. Kind of reminds me of the uh, comic uh, or the news the comic book art from back in the day. That's what it reminds me, like Buck Rogers or, or what, you know, like that, Buck Rogers. Anyway, okay, so, and then we have the featured artist for November. Very, very nice. I, I have a feeling that this was done with the colors of October, but I'm not positive. Because the ink looks familiar. It looks like the same ink that I used for my, my watercolor drawing, but then, of course, I could be wrong. But it's very nice, very, 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 very nice. And the artist is Nat Suarez. I hope I pronounced that right. And let me hold this steady in case you want to look her up. I presume that Nat is a girl. If I am wrong and it is a guy, I apologize. You know, like Nat is Natalie, not Nathan. But, but anyway, very, very nice, very nice. Okay, now what's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Okay, um, it says here, let me get my thing here, I'm trying to, my eyes are tired again, so I'm trying to find my, there it is. Okay, all right, um, first off, we have two-time Copic sketch markers. Retail price are $7.99 each, and they are staff favorites, so let me see. If I can get the right ones out here, ah, it must be these because they're flat. These are the Cop Copic markers. Did I say Copic? But anyway, these are Copic, and I've got the colors of light, let's see, light green, light grape, and um, ocean, or let's see, ice ocean, ice ocean, okay. Those are those two colors. And then we have, oh, and it says here, it says, this month is all about the, be the best illustration markers. Copic uh, sketch markers are known the world over for being the high quality illustration markers available, or the most high quality illustration markers available, I, I apologize. They are hand assembled in Japan with a soft buttery brush nib that can't be duplicated. We included two versatile colors, Ice Ocean and Light Grape. And then we also have two times Copic Chow marker, C-I-A-O, Chow. I will say Chow. If I've mispronounced that, I apologize. Let me see here. There's that one. No, that's not it. Uh, this one. Okay, and here's the two markers. And it looks like they are dual nibbed. And these, we've got the colors are, let me see here. I'm trying to see if it says the colors on here. Hmm. Ah, here we are. We have a blue-green, and we have an olive. So this one's a blue-green, and this one's an olive. And it says here, um, oh, the retail price for these are $5.49 each, and they're, back, they're also staff favorite. Uh, the Chow's Solid Polypropylene Barrel is round, smooth, and smaller than the Copic sketch marker barrel, marker's barrel, uh, making it ideal for those with smaller hands. The cap features an inner seal as well as choke-proof uh, venting. We include olive and blue-green to curate with your new Copic sketch markers. And then next we have... What's it there? Ah. We have a Derwent sketching pencil. 
that's this here, and it is a 4B. And like I always say, I can never have too many pencils. And it says here, oh, it's retail price, $1.89. Um, we included a 4B, 4B, 4B sketching pencil from DeWint. So you can sketch ideas before adding marker to your new illustrations. And then we have uh, a Pentel style or stylo drawing pen. Uh, retail price is three dollars and forty nine cents. And we have this one, and that is what it looks like. That is a very unusual tip. I've never seen a tip like that before. And that's really odd looking. Well, it's for me anyway. I mean, sure, other people out there might you know you might be familiar with, but I've never seen a tip like that before. Anyway, what does it say here? It says, it says, uh, featuring a unique flexible nib for creating fine lines or broad strokes, this non-refillable pen with black ink is ideal for sketching and drawing. Use it to add line work or detail to your new illustrations. And last but certainly not least is another sketchbook. It says here it is a Sketchbox signature sketchbook. It retails for $9.99. And let's open this bad boy up. Getting my scissors here. I, since, since I've been getting these art boxes, I have got some really nice sketchbooks. I mean, very good quality sketchbooks. Because before this, I just, you know, I, I just get the stuff that's in the stores. You know, regular sketchbooks that you get, you know. I don't want to call them cheap, but they're not high quality. I, I wouldn't call them high quality. I mean, they do what they need to be, you know. That they do what they're designed to do, you know, to, you know, for sketching and stuff. But these, uh, oh, I just love, I love the, the feel of the, 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 um, the, um, the sketchbooks, you know, the covers. I'm just getting the wrapper off. See, I'm getting wrapper off here. I'm always afraid I'm going to hit the camera. Okay, oh, nice. Feels nice. Okay, here we are. And here is the nice sketchbook. Very, very nice. It's a small sketchbook, but... You never have too many. This is nice. Oh, I love it that it's got these pockets in the back. Because sometimes I do little itty bitty drawings and I love it that it has got this little bookmark. I love that. I think that's my favorite thing sometimes. Oh, I got a, oh, oh, okay there. On my on my uh, viewfinder, I had a little black dot. I'm like, what is that? I thought it was on my, my lens, but it was on the uh, viewfinder. But anyway, this is really, it's nice and smooth, very nice. Oh, see, it's even got Sketchbox signature on there. That's nice, stamped on there. That's really nice. But I love it that it has these, this, these. it comes with a bookmark. That's so cool. I do like that. And then it's got, the, you know, I always love it that it's got this little elastic band on the end. That's why I say, you know, this is, you know, this, I don't know how, you know, well, $9.99 for this little thing, that is kind of expensive, but the quality of the, uh, just the cover alone is nice. I mean, I would not even think to put anything on this, you know, like, you know, uh, drawing or, you know, stickers. You, you know what I'm saying? I would not, I would not, because it's just so nice. Anyway, what it says here about the little sketchbook is, it says, um, our very own sketchbook, exclamation point. This book is uh, landscape formatted with heavyweight 98 pound 145 GSM paper that is versatile enough to be used with ink and pencil. And that is it. That is what's in the box for November. And let me show you the colors of these, um, of the Copic markers. And of course I... I break in the sketchbooks by, you know, marking them, mark, marking in them. Even so, sometimes I'm like, I don't really want to mark in them. But I think somewhere, someone, somewhere, I don't know if it was on YouTube or something that said, you know, instead of uh, not marking in your sketchbooks, you know, trying to keep them all nice, mark in them. Otherwise, you'll never use them, which is probably, will it, which is true. Oh, that's very nice. This is the, one, the sketching. Copic marker. 
Yeah, that's a that's a, that's like a gray color. I think this is the ice blue or the ocean, or is it the uh, pale grape? Oh, light grape. That's what this one is. It's that's the light grape. I'll put. Let me see. Use the other end. Yeah, LG. <laughs> and then we have. Ooh, smell that marker. Ooh, that's a strong smell. Then we have the, the um. Now I have no idea what I'm going to make out of these. I haven't a clue. That's a nice color. Kind of a grayish color. It's kind of like a purple gray and it's actually more of a gray color. And this one is what? The ice ocean. What a name for a color, ice ocean. Io. <laughs> then we have the the chow markers. What can I do with these markers? I mean, the colors are the colors are dull. You know what I mean? They're just they're cool colors. So I'm not really sure what to really do with these. This is the blue-green. Yeah, this is the blue-green. That's that nib. And then, of course, the brush. And then we have the olive green. So I really don't know what to really do with. This is going to be a challenge for me because it's mostly cool colors. And they're green and one purplish. So I really don't know. I really don't know what to do, you know, what to do with these. I don't know what. I don't, I don't know what to make, is what I'm trying to say. And of course we have the Durant pencil, which is... And then we've got the marker. This is, oh, that's nice. Have you ever tried to, have you ever did a scribble? You know, you just did a line and then you, you try to make something out of it. I used to do that when I was a kid. You know, I would, I'd make something out of the line. I'm gonna make something out of this line. That's a nice. That's a nice little. That's a little nice. Nice little marker. It really is. It's a nice little marker. I have no idea what I'm drawing here. A fat bird. <laughs> it's a fat little bird. There we go. <laughs> With very weird legs. <laughs> this is a fat little bird. Let <laughs> me make a long tail. Like a bird of paradise. There we go. There we go. <laughs> what I'll do. Maybe I'll just do a, a strange looking bird out of these colors. I don't know. 
That's an idea. What do you think? What do you think? What do you guys think? Should I do a bird? Just a strange looking bird. Actually, you know, I kind of like this. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, that'll do it for the uh, November, or I mean December, <laughs> November, December sketch box. And of course, in January, when the next box comes, if the next box does come, because, you know, I'm not paying for these. I have a friend, a friend's giving them to me and which I do appreciate it, and I always show her on my work. <laughs> so this one I came up with, okay, or of course, we also have the Sketchbox sticker. Mustn't forget that. Oh, every box comes with one. Anyway, um, I will leave a link to Sketchbox website below in the uh, description box below and if you want to get your own Sketchbox. And um, this is not paid for by Sketchbox. This is, I just, you know, my friend sends them to me, and... I try to come up with something with the uh, boxes. Anyway, I hope that those of you who celebrated Thanksgiving, I hope you had a really nice Thanksgiving. And um, I hope that uh, those of you who celebrate uh, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, and Christmas all have a nice holiday. And um, I will uh, see you in the next Sketchbox review or next uh, arts, arts, uh, art box review. Um, till then, you all take care of yourselves. Have a wonderful holiday. If you are in a uh, part of the country or part of the world where it's freezing cold, stay warm. Keep bundled up. Try not to catch cold. <laughs> all right. Y'all take care of yourselves. Okay? Behave and God bless. Bye.